half on the pipe side and three quarter on the threaded side from the top of the water heater. No dice. We gotta go back to Lowe's. We were actually just at Lowe's. <laughs> but we're gonna come back and get the pieces that we need for the hot water heater and just try to make something work. Now you need pipes? Mm hmm. Piece of pipe and some fittings and some glue. Slip that over the pipe on the wall, put another little piece of pipe in it. Right there. Yeah, that's all we need. This looks great. You better say that. <laughs> I mean it, it looks good. The only part we had to see was in here and it's behind the door. It's the only part we had to piece oh, right there. Oh, that's fine. No one would ever even yep. notice that. So, no biggie at all. Looking good, Dad. Looks great. Looking real good. You think it looks nice, Mom? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. Really, really nice. Yeah. Welcome back. we got things going on at the house, of course, today. So we've got baseboards in these three rooms that are kind of right close to me that I will show you. And then they're actually working on baseboards in the other part of the house. So this is a baby's room, and I think the baseboards look great. Now, as you can see, there's, of course, wood baseboards. There's white. There's white. Eventually, we're going to have these windows replaced because they're kind of old. But in the meantime, the painters just kind of refreshed the sills there with paint, which is really nice of them, just to make it look nicer. So eventually, when those windows get replaced, that's when they will get new trim that will match that. And then, just whenever we get around to it, maybe we'll replace uh, that with just some more of the regular wood. But it looks so nice. The white is not awful. I'm just more a fan of regular wood instead of painted wood. But I think these baseboards look so nice and we wanted to go ahead and get the baseboards done in this room and the other two rooms because we are moving in in just a few short days. Really hard to do that after the furniture was moved in. And then it looks like Dad and Austin are actually getting to the other baseboards in the other part of the house. And again, some of them are painted white from just kind of the painters refreshing things, which is really nice. And then we're going back with wood. So eventually maybe we'll replace it all with wood, but that's not a big deal. But it's nice that Austin is able to help dad today because I know that that makes it go twice as fast. Also, in the last couple of days, dad and I went and got a hot water heater because the hot water heater we had was gas. But since we're getting rid of the gas, we needed to get a new one. So we got that and we got that installed. This is what the baseboards look like in here. This will be our room. And then we've got this room. So this room actually has a wood uh, window trim there. But again, it'll get replaced probably when we change out the windows. It's looking super nice. So this is the next part where they're working on this.
So we've moved the fridge over here in front of the window just for now. We're not gonna keep the fridge <laughs> in front of the window long term, but dad and Austin still have the countertops to work on. So if we put it where it's gonna go for good, it would just kind of be in the way. And we wanted to go ahead and get it set up because when we move in a few days, of course, we'll be bringing food with us from our other fridge. So this will be good to have set here and ready to go. It turned out to be a nice fridge. So right now, Dad and Austin are just kind of looking at where we want the fence to go. There's two crawl spaces to go under the house. So we're going to try to bring the fence in to where they don't impede the crawl spaces, at least on this side if we can. So they're just trying to kind of measure and figure out exactly where we want the fence to go. And I'm so glad that they had the great idea of using cattle panels and T-posts because we already had a ton of those <laughs> from garden stuff. And that's going to save so much money and most importantly, so much time because it's so much easier to just open the door and let Olive out than, you know, every hour, ever two hours having to walk her, which, you know, is okay. It's just much nicer to have a fence. So I'm very grateful that they're going to be able to do that. I just want to lay some posts out generally where we're going to go and just see how far the posts are going to go for us. Probably need one more over there and then that, or maybe the next one right here or something. But are you gonna make a are you gonna make a gate to get out from from to the outside or you think you'll ever need that? Mm. It'd probably be nice to have at some point. We'll have but to figure out kind of how to do that. Yeah. I mean you could literally probably buy the low of the tractor farm. Just a chain link gate? Yeah. And we'll figure out how to figure out how to attach it to one of these poles. Yeah. And then we could always probably go back and do and cut that in. Yeah, I'm sure we could. Ooh. I got this room filled up pretty good, huh? Yes. I'm about shock. Austin's parents are here today helping us move in some of the smaller stuff. And we have got a ton. We had four cars coming from our house to over here and we got so much just in one load. They went back for maybe just one more load. And then, of course, the big movers will get the big stuff here in a couple days, but we're just keeping it all kind of in this back bedroom because we're we're not actually going to be uh, moving our bed into that room. We're going to be moving into this other side of the house. And so that way, just kind of keep it all in there, keep it out of the way for when the big movers move stuff. And then the kitchen, we're still needing to do countertops in there. So we don't want to put too much stuff in there in the way, but... I think it's moving right along and it's nice today it's warm it's it's probably already 60 something degrees outside so that's nice this is like our first piece of furniture <laughs> in the house here our 1970s uh lawn chair there but and it's still kind of surreal that we're going to be moving even though we've already moved all this stuff of course packed it all up it's just such a blessing and i i just kind of keep thinking in my head you know I hope God knows that I'm <laughs> thankful for this and hope that I'm, I don't know, expressing my gratitude enough because 
it's just really special and it, I think it's going to be better for us and it's just a huge blessing. Uh, just so thankful for that and give all the all the good things and all the glory to God. The crab apple tree is starting to bloom and it's just beautiful, especially against that blue sky. The forsythia over there have already bloomed and they're kind of on their way out, but it's pretty even when they're just green. We got tons of dandelions blooming and then there's some violets somewhere that I saw. There's the violets. I knew I seen some somewhere. We've got some stain that we're gonna try and see what we think we might want on the countertops. This is gun... Gun stock. Gun stock. Oh. You see, that looks like so red. I'm like, holy cow. Why is that so red? Hmm? Is it just because it needs to dry? It'll soak up some. <laughs> I don't know much about stain, obviously. But I'm like, that is so red. Holy cow. Oh, looks like a gun stock. So this one is going to be maybe the darkest Special one. Special walnuts, what it's called. It's pretty dark. <laughs> it's really dark. That's pretty. It's dark, though. That's pretty dark. This is weathered oak. All right. See if it's maybe an in-between or something. It's kind of a somewhat in-between. It's not really going to dry gray. You can see already. Yeah, it won't end up being yeah. totally gray. That special walnut's not bad. Oh, that's pretty. This is just... I will agree, that gun stock's probably too red. Yeah, that's way too red. But that's pretty. And the special walnut. Mm-hmm. Either one of those. I think both of those are nice. Yeah. So we brought it down here to hold it up next to the cabinets to see what we think. It's interesting. So dad actually found two things. This is just tongue oil, and that is a stain called mocha. He found those in the basement, and so we wanted to compare those two. What do you think, doll? I don't know either. That, I think, is too similar. That is just super dark. But this, the special walnut's pretty.
Today dad's working on putting the outer molding. It's looking great. You can see that he's got the molding on the back part here, all across. And I think he's got a lot of it on the front done. This is gonna be so nice. And I love this sink. These are the sink strainers that he got today when he was getting the molding. Walk up the stairs and jump off the top. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Secretly hoping you like gun stock, just because it's called gun stock. Ready? Let me just go for it. You don't want to say nothing? Take two. How about yeah? Just take me a second. It looks great. I want a video just a tiny bit before we eat lunch. Yeah. Mm, that size, right? <laughs> well, we might have to reduce it. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> this the heat and cool the house, or just cool the house. I think that's a great idea. Cool but if, you, if you get cold, you can spin it around and get the exhaust off the back of the oven. Shut the oven on full blast, leave it going in the oven. I think that's a great idea, babe. Don't listen to me, I don't know. I generally don't listen to you. <laughs>